So hello folks, today I'm going to talk about the Blender new options or Blender new updates. So there you go. First we have our metal texture. So you know that uh, we have metal. We can use metal in our principal PSDF like that in default. But now we have a metallic PSDF node separately for imitating metals more perfectly. First we receive, first we change all the values to default PSDF and you can see there is no details but if you add colors there is a bit detail. So it use a frizzle uh, node with a layer weight node so it will give you a edge rim which is colored. Technically you can do it with a little bit of node setup uh, like a color ramp and uh, frizzle low node but there are uh, like a bit of difference in the things like you need to do a little bit more setup like the uh, layer adjustment load or, or the layer weight or the pain, uh, weight node or the minimum maximum node but in here you can do it pretty accurately also you have a physically accurate uh, IOR level which is physical conductor definitely you can change the node um, extension IOR or other stuff like the real life metal also, you have the artistic uh, way to doing that. So there is a bit of uh, great work. Here is a render comparison between both of them. So you can get like there are not like much. So our next uh, is uh, our sculpting tool. So we now have our brush as an asset and uh, it's just like the asset browser. You can increase or decrease the size also. And there you go, all the brush nodes, you have different sections, you can turn on and off both sections and you can definitely uh, get it more effective because you don't need to search for each node in the uh, tool panel, just you need to search it on the correct folder or in the correct panels. So you have simulation node, different type of simulation node and I guess this is a bit faster than before but yeah, it's totally my opinion, I use this brushes before but I guess this is a bit faster than before just a little bit like nothing too much to notice but yeah just a little bit also you have uh, like you can create new brushes or you can also uh, get them from here you can create your own brushes import other brush styles or other paint brushes and I guess this is a pretty good way the blender is heading right now I guess they are going to launch more brushes in the future so definitely there's a good way also now uh, the light linking is uh, supported in ev and this is a great way actually to use light linking because it's only supported in cycles before but in three you can use it in ev also there is a cycle spar sample render time increasement and ev now support multi-pass compositing so if you are going through that you can try it out also now you can uh, preview the images in the image editor before uh, like opening every single image like that so i guess this is helpful for few people like color wheel panel is changed and you can see like we have uh, hashed here instead of the panel outside of that also you can drag and drop the panels like here and there with a pretty effective way like you need to just mm, grab the panel and uh, grab the panels uh, lower portion the inner lower portion you can't grab the outer portion that is only for resizing the inner outer portion you get this plus option and you can just drag and drop anywhere you want this is actually pretty effective way of working i guess or adjusting your workspace with uh, multiple panels or adjusting the panels like that uh, so yeah i like this feature a lot also you can see there are a few nodes that's releasing and uh, you can just go through all the nodes like uh, the new metal bsdf which uh, you can imitate copper nickel and other stuff i guess there is few websites that uh, provide you the uh, correct uh, values and colors also so you can go through that so as you can see that use the frizzle uh, fr uh, frizzle approximation in that also the limited osl scripts that is now integrated i guess also in geometry node you can now have a new 
node which is for each element and you can i guess uh, change each uh, element with uh, some things you need or some characters you need also uh, i guess uh, there is a new improvement node which is gris pencil uh, so you now have uh, geometry data in gris pencil so you can change uh, resample or uh, i guess do a lot of stuff with gris pencil right now because uh, you can change it to curve also i guess that is a good option because you do gris pencil and then change it to curve it will give you a lot of uh, flexibility also the merge layer now have a group id node so you can just short by group id or use the group id at your advantage also we now have a bake node in geometry node so we can just bake the whole animation and uh, it will save a lot of time i guess like uh, yeah it will save a lot also now geometry node have gizmo and grid now so you can just change it from the viewport rather than changing the values in the uh, sockets of position xyz or rotation xyz i guess uh, this is a good way also there is a new warning node you can say so if you are doing a node setup group or anything like that and you need a warning sign for that so you can just add it as uh, a warning sign so you remember that thing also now the grease pencil is uh, more lighter to store as you can see uh, so you maybe uh, reconnect or like change the files to uh, blend to 4.3 it will reduce a significant amount of storage also there are a lot of bug fixing and new feature adding in blender so if you want to know more about that go to blender development website i will give you the link in the description there are also new feature adding in blender 4.4 and 4.3 so if you want to know about every single detail you can go to the website and check it out yourself so that's all for today guys i hope uh, this video gives some values i just shot out most important updates that are coming in blender 4.3 and uh, yeah there is a lot actually in the coding panel also the python nodes also the main planning of that like rigging and texturing but i guess this is all for now so see you in the next video